ಸಂಭೂಮಾಪತಿಂ ಸುರಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಕಾರಣ ವಂದೇ ಪನ್ನಗಭೂಷಣ ಶಶಿಧರ ವಂದೇ ಪಶೂನ ಪತಿ ವಂದೇ ಸೂರ್ಯಶಿಶಾಂಕವನ್ನಯನ ವಂದೇ ಮುಕುಂದ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಕ್ತಜನ ಆಶ್ರಯ ಚರದ ವಂದೇ ಭಕ್ತಜನ ಆಶ್ರಯ ಚರದ ವಂದೇ ಶಿವ ಶಂಕರ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಯೋಗ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫರ್ಮ್ಲಿ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎವರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಥೂಸಿಯಾಸಮ್ in spite of the repeated failures if we can continue to be enthusiastic of achieving something that is confidence <coughs> swami vivekananda had difficulty after difficulty <coughs> his father passed away family became very poor he did not get a job he discontinued his studies there was a poverty in the house there was no rice whatever rice was available at the time of his father's death that was the only rice when it was consumed they did not have enough money to buy again in spite of so many difficulties failures he did not lose enthusiasm he did not lose his confidence he was sure that he would achieve something that a sustained confidence enthusiasm is called a yogic quality 1904 1902 july 4th he passed away and then his friends asked from so many difficulties you were able to rise to so many achievements what is the secret of your rise how were you able to achieve and swami vivekananda told i think i am a dare devil of self confidence without a pen in my pocket i was able to go around the world twice like a prince all this credit goes to my self confidence and that confidence a yogi has to develop rather without confidence there is no yogic quality in the upanishads there was a beautiful story rishi gautam had many children 11 of them one day he called all his children my dear children you must achieve something very great and they took the word they started doing tapasya days rolled by months rolled by years passed away and they did not move from their will power they did not slacken their enthusiasm they continued to remain strong with self confidence and they were established in the thought aham brahmasmi and body is made of the nature and the body is perish but their will power remained firm strong it is irresistible they had the invincible will they had the unconquerable courage they were very strong in their determination they remained to remain forever and they each became a creator the story goes brahma after the dissolution after pralaya he was at to start the creation at a distance he found the sun blazing 
Brahma was surprised. How is it I have not yet started the creation? There is already a son. Have I forgotten to remove him? How is it he continues to shine? Who is this son? He called him. The sun god came. Yes, sir. My dear son, Surya Deva, I have not yet started the creation. Who created you? Or did I forget to demolish you in the previous creation? Where do you come from? Who has created you? Who are you? And then Sun God said, Sir, in your previous creation there was a Rishi called Gautam. He had eleven children. All the eleven children were highly ambitious. Their father asked them to attain the highest. They sat together and discussed which is the highest position to be the village administrative officer. No, a Tansildar is superior to that. No, a sub collector is superior to that. No, a district collector is superior to that. No, the governor is superior to that position. No, the president of India is superior to that position. No. If there is global administration, global government, the president of the entire globe will be the superior person. No, there must be a person superior even to that. The entire universe and that is Brahman, Brahman. We should not be satisfied with the position of a revenue inspector. We should not be satisfied with the position of a Tarsildar. And we should raise, raise, raise to that highest position which has no parallel. Dream high. Highest ambition we should nourish and we should put in enough effort to attain that highest. And that is Aham Brahmasmi, Aham Brahmasmi. They have started living that Brahman state. The body is perished. They became each a creator. On all the eleven children created eleven sons, and your son is the twelfth. Aditya, Dwadasa Aditya, eleven sons, eleven creations, eleven galaxies were created by those eleven children. He who is capable of the greatest ambition, highest determination, is capable of reaching the highest position. Let us not think low of ourselves. Let us not have an underestimate of ourselves. We are capable of rising to the highest. And that is the yogic message. This body is meant to be kept healthy. This mind is kept to be flying high. And the intellect is kept only to be very, very sharp, shrewd. With this body, mind, intellect, equipment, we can enter into the spiritual lore and we can attain something highest. India has the history of established willpower and that is Raj Yoga. In the Upanishads, we have the great message that a man can become God, can become a creator, can become Brahman. And a participant in a Prashanti Kutir should nourish the thought, I am the healthiest, I am the healthiest. Physical treatment is one side, 99% of the treatment is from our mind, the established thought, I am healthy, I am healthy, I am healthy. That thought power sets right everything and we retain the greatest position. In the West also we have a similar thought. The noble laureate Ernest Hemingway has written a beautiful book, The Old Man and the Sea. The man goes to the forest, goes to the sea every day. He wants to catch the fish. He is unable to be satisfied with catching the small fish. His ambition is very high. He wants to catch a great whale. W-H-E-A-L-E. Kimingala. And every day he comes empty-handed. One day, 
he was able to catch the highest, the biggest. He was uh, bringing it back. There were sharks in the sea. They felt the smell of the dead whale. They started sucking its blood. They started eating its flesh. By the time that old man brought that whale to the shore, all the flesh was eaten. It was only a large skeleton. He looked at it with all happiness. Man may be destroyed but not defeated. It's a message. We may face failures. We may face the bodily destruction. But our willpower is very strong. And it is any amount of repeated failure that increases the enthusiasm. When once the enthusiasm is unabated, it is invincible will. Swami Vivekananda is known for his willpower. He is known for his strength of mind. He is known for his courage. The more the failures, the more courageous you become. Indian story is that of Nachiketa. The man has never known a failure. He has been able to face Yamadharma Raj and he has been able to talk to him and the result is Katopanishad. He has conquered death. The young boy, Markande of 16 years, he is fated to die at the age of 16. And the story goes, when Shiva is in me, what can Yama do to me? Absolute faith in himself. And that is Markandeya, the man of very great faith and strong willpower. That young girl, 16 year old Savitri, great astrologer Narada said, This girl will become a widow. Her husband Satyavan will die within a year after marriage. And the reaction of Savitri, I shall see how my husband dies. That is willpower. I shall see how I become sickly. I shall see how I become a failed person. Nothing will shake me. I cannot be resisted. I will be bold, I will be strong, I will achieve something. That is the determination one has to develop People coming to Prashanti Kutir, either as students or as patients, must have this wonderful willpower that nothing can shake them, nothing can pull them down. We are by nature strong, we are by nature healthy, we are by nature divine. Each soul is potentially divine. In Prashanti Kutir, there is no word like failure. There is no word like suffering, sickness. These are all the weak man's words. We are by nature peaceful. We are by nature cheerful. We are by nature Brahman. Let us realize that Brahman. Let us establish ourselves in strength, confidence, unabated enthusiasm. Let us see the image of Lord Krishna in front of our eyes, Yogeshwara Sri Krishna, who knows no failure, let's meditate on this Sri Krishna Yogeshwara.
Hasta luego.